Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and today I'm going to be doing a different video. If you can't tell it's snowing outside and it's been snowing for two days which is a bummer because it's just starting to get spring and it's finally starting to get warm. It snowed so much this winter that I was finally excited for the snow to be gone. We had two 60 degree days and then it snowed two days after that. So I so I just got to the junkyard and let me explain why. So I worked on the weekend to get all my jobs done for Monday, Tuesday because I saw the snow coming. Um, but I actually got this inspection camera from Vever. And if you can't tell how these two things are related, I'm actually gonna take this into the junkyard and see if I can figure out what happened to a few cars that made them end up in the junkyard. Let's pull out some spark plugs and look at the damage inside some vehicles with no body damage. That being said, this video is sponsored by Vever. I'm gonna show this to you real quick because once we get out there it's going to be snowing and i'm going to keep the gopro in my pocket most of the time except for when i find something so seeing the screen of this and everything is going to be hard to do but luckily i can take pictures on here and i'll just put those in the video and actually this is one of the coolest little uh, inspection cameras i've got and let me show you why because i've had some with a little camera on the side before and on the top but i've never had one with two cameras on the side so that's pretty cool and that's a super great and low cost option to not being able to adjust the tip of your camera. This bad boy is super easy to use, let's turn it on. Endoscope. This button right here flips the camera. And this button right here actually changes the camera. So you can see, it comes out the side now, and then it'll look at you. Pretty cool. And the second button from the top right here also adjusts the brightness of the camera light. All right, now that I've got that out of the way, the purpose of this video is purely just something entertaining. I've had this idea for a while of just looking through old motors in the junkyard and seeing what was wrong with them after I found a bunch of crazy stuff over the years. So I don't think it'll be too hard to find some damage. Let's get in there and check it out. All right, here we go. Always fun to go in the junkyard. There's some transfer cases. Somebody's not happy. Junkyard our dog. There's a motor. Motors. My hood on. Here's the junkyard. 454. Wow. That's nice. Um, so you don't want to look for something like that. It's obviously been in a crash and that's why it's here um, Because if it's here because it has a crash and there isn't gonna be any damage in the motor probably because it was running up till the moment It was crashed. So you want to look for something that doesn't Have damage in this case, but it's the opposite when you go to a junkyard if you're gonna look for a motor normal You want to look for one that's in a crash vehicle Howdy This is a good one That might be a good one. It's sliding down the hills over there. That D row right here, that's nice. Crashed, crashed. Not gonna find any motor damage in these. Crashed, crashed. Probably crashed, but it might have been just somebody trying to get that fender off. Probably not though. Crashed. Man, somebody rebuilt the whole car with this one. That one may have some motor damage if it's uh, that much uh, body work been taken off of it. Let's try this one first. See what we find. This is going to be a great first look at everything. Get a spark plug socket. There it is. That one's nasty. That may be what's wrong with this one. Blown head gasket or something. Let's get this out. That looks like milkshake though from a blown head gasket, so might be a uh, first case. If we get lucky. Although, how lucky do you have to be in a junkyard? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn this on and stick it in that cylinder on this side was the one with all that junk, so. 
Might be nothing. We'll look in this whole front side here and then we'll go to the next car. Pretty nasty. <laughs> yeah, there's some nasty stuff in there. All I can see is brown. Uh, I'm gonna guess she's milkshakeified in that cylinder. It's really hard to see that. Yeah, no joke, this is the best picture I got. The cylinder hole, there's the milkshake. About a quarter of an inch on top of a cylinder, a half an inch or so. All right, I'm in the back corner now. That big red van there is the first video I made about a car being in the junkyard. That was my customer's old van, and I found it here like a year after I fixed it for him. <laughs> it's crashed, crashed, crashed. All right, I'm gonna find something good, and then uh, I'll pull the camera back out. But there's not even really a walkway back here. It just turns into cars, so just keep looking. What? Something will, something will jump out at me. Maybe this right here. Dodge Dakota. Doesn't look like it's been crashed. So nice having these boots. I don't have to worry about what I'm walking in. V6 Magnum. Doesn't look crashed. This one might be fun. Is that rock holding it up? Somebody got a sketchy back here. Battery. That's what I'm saying. This is the only junkyard I've ever been to that leaves the batteries in the vehicle. That's crazy. But one time I tried to start a car out here because of that. Here's what's dangerous about that though, is these batteries are broken, but if that came out of here, then I'm thinking that this has been in some sort of collision and I might just go to the next thing. So let's keep moving. Looks like a cool old forerunner back here. It's got some really cool wheels. I'm not seeing crash damage on this. So something like this is probably in the junkyard. Never mind. got crashed good enough gonna say something that old probably would have been uh, resurrected if it could have been so it's got some damage though I spotted this Saturn that looked like it was sitting up pretty straight and I came over to look at this better than that this Cherokee looks like it's sitting up straight so I think I'm gonna dig into this one next I got a couple of good candidates right here but and this looks fine somebody just took the lock out of the driver's door this one's a good one nice wheels too all right, found a good spot here. This is uh, the back of the junkyard, in case you were wondering. And if you can orient so, orientate yourself, that's where we're at. Orientate yourself. Saturn. Somebody may have just taken that panel. Oh, it's been precisely removed. This one may have some damage, easy spark plugs to get to. Let's do this Jeep first though, even though the spark plugs are a little bit harder to get to. Oh no, it's easy peasy, I thought that was the V8. All right, dry off a little spot to lean against. Pull these plug wires off and let's pull some out. Hey, those look kind of new. Pretty new. Maybe somebody had some problems they couldn't figure out and that's the only reason it's in the junkyard. One way to find out. Snow wrench. No damage. Let's take them all out first. No damage. If I saw one that was squished, that would get me excited. It's got a little something on there, a little burr. Four liter. Nothing crazy, those plugs aren't new though. All right, let's slap this back in there again. See what we got.
And what do we have there? Just a little piston right there. That upside down. Nothing crazy in there. Let's try this one. Huh. That one's got some debris in it. I actually didn't get a picture of that one, but it was just some scarring that looked like this. That's down. Nothing crazy there. All right, no crazy damage. On to the next car. Ah, I was hoping to get all four at once. Same thing, not squished. Same thing, they all just look like that, pretty burnt. One more and then let's put the camera in. <laughs> I think I just broke my wrench. What the heck? There you go. Can you not use it like a wrench then? New thing. Dang. All right. Well, let's check out those other holes. Bummer. Probably got a warranty at least. That looks good. This one looks good. All right, well that's gonna do it. I was gonna keep going until I found one that had some super obvious damage, but my ranger said it had enough of this snow today. I didn't bring another wrench with me. Like the only time ever I thought all I need is one wrench. Not even a spare in my truck. So we're gonna head back and whip a video up. If you like this one and you wanna see more like it, leave this video a thumbs up to let me know and you can subscribe as well. And if you wanna help out, you can donate the links in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next episode. For round three, maybe we'll find something.